Kayaknya understand the value of music and community and uh, connections. I invested my, some of my money on the cryptocurrency and, uh, and I'm really impressed by the project. Yeah! Music love! Yeah! Very good question. Um, a proof of sharing them is a kind of uh, technological term. Uh, it's very uh, much underlying this system. It's like a Bitcoin is running proof of work, which is using computer power to exhaust the computing power to run the software all around the world and communicate with each other and they run out of this um, energy, for example, to uh, get some coins. And that's why the coin has some kind of uh, uh, intrinsic value, people say that. Uh, of course, I argue that because I think Bitcoin is not so useful, uh, not as music coin. <laughs> but for music coin, we believe that uh, because we bond this uh, currency with uh, every transaction, the transaction means you need to play a song to accredit this music um, currency. That's why we want to use this way to um, identify and try to give the credit to every music you know value in our life. It means that if you listen to a song holy, there should be some value going back to to the creators. That's our philosophy. So the proof of sharing them basically is building the bond. It's a, it's a revised version of the proof of work. So halfway we run computer power to, to roll up the blockchain to advance it. Another part is that we also use human actors. We use verified positions. If they run the software on the desktop, they have the chance to verify whether this block should be generated or not. So we integrate both computer power and human power together. So in this way, even you have a supercomputer running the software, it doesn't mean you are the first runner to get the coins mined from this blockchain. That's a proof of sharing them. We will prove uh, it's more ener eco ecologically greener than the coins.